I feel like shit. Hey, Monday, happy days. Hey, Wednesday, happy days. It's just one of those happy days. The weekend comes, but I go home. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is easy. in my cool. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chief Moody and welcome to the Mood of the Nation. More specifically, the first ever episode of my brand new co <laughs> brand new podcast on <laughs> on my channel. Uh, that was absolutely perfect until that slip up there. <laughs> Anyways, oh man. I've seen a few comments in the live stream so far, so, uh, but I'm in a really good mood today, despite the fact I'm still pretty tired, but hey, I can get through that, no bother. How's everyone doing today? So, let's see who's in the stream just now, or in the chat. Budgie Burger, as usual, evening to you, how are you doing? Send some communum, how you doing, sir? Thank you for watching the stream. So, what is the mood of the nation tonight? Mine is grumpy. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that earlier on as well. Uh, Scottish Town, thank you for watching the stream. I'll, I'll get to you in just a short second. Uh, there's going to be a reason why. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, George Bradley, hello, sir. I don't think I've seen you before, but thank you very much for watching the stream. Uh, aye, aye. Uh, it's still winter up north. Um, it was sunny earlier on this morning, but now it's just completely grey skies. And, and it's raining, but it's not like heavily raining. It's kind of like spitting in, in a way, so... Uh, let me see here, that was my message for the rest of the chat. Sammy Shaw, thank you for watching the stream. Th uh, I think you were, you were on also uh, in a John Davidson stream. So yeah, for those that don't know, this past Thursday, I was on John Davidson's stream. We just had a little chat. Uh, for those that don't know as well, he's the, the blethering pensioner. Uh, I was on his channel for a bit, well, not a bit, pretty much the entirety of the night. We just had a little chat between each other, and uh, it was actually a really good stream, so hopefully I'll appear on this channel again at some point, or maybe vice versa. We'll need to plan something out with that. Uh, <laughs> I see Chief Media is running to the same timetable as Arrival Buses. Yeah, well, see, there was a bit of a reason why I'm a bit late uh, tonight. Well, not a bit. I, I was actually massively late, because uh, that's now... 21 minutes past 6. So, I had my laptop up and running about half past 4. Now, the reason I was a bit early, just because I was getting all the information I needed for the, for tonight's episode, uh, you get all the articles and such and, and whatnot. Then I was typing away to, uh, in the search bar on the website just to see if I can get the specific uh, site to go on to. And my keyboard on my laptop stopped working. So, I was panicking a little bit thinking that it's not going to be on for the rest of the evening to the point I might need to cancel or maybe reschedule for another time. But 
I managed to get the keyboard working. All I had to do was switch my laptop off, leave it off for a few minutes, turn it back on, and just typed away, and it's, it, it completely worked again. I really have no idea what that was all about. It was just really bizarre, but... Uh, so that's why I was a bit late. Uh, I'm coming on late on, on the stream than usual, but hey, so I'm here now. So that's the main thing. John Enoch Powell, MBE, thank you for watching the stream. And yes, definitely hit that like button. Also, if you guys can, uh, I know I've shared this on the on my Telegram page. I think there's been a couple of people since um, you've shared the stream as well already. I think Bonnie Lads also shared it. Uh, I think there was a third person that shared the stream as well. Who was it? It was Bonnie Lad, it was Sensum, Kimino. Uh, who was the third person? Or, or was it just the two of, 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 of them? All right. Well, for those who haven't done so already, the other thing you could do as well is please share the stream across all other platforms. Gab, Twitter, uh, maybe even if you have your own Telegram channels or or if you're on a, a completely different Telegram channel, like a, kind of like a group chat, then if you share it there, you know, you name it kind of thing. So, because um, I really want this to be a nationalist podcast for Sunday. So for anyone who's a nationalist, uh, specifically our side of nationalism, uh, this would be the show for you guys at 6 p.m. on a Sunday. So. Uh, tonight might not be the best example of that since it came in late, but hey, it's just only just for tonight, and the next week is going to be much better in terms of timekeeping, so. Because uh, even Jojo Gizmo in the chat says, date, time, correct, where's the chief? Yeah, if I was running a bit late, as, as <laughs> for tonight. Uh, Steve Cray, hello sir, hello from sunny Lincolnshire. Well, thank you for watching the stream, it's good to ha have you on. Uh, Jewel Citizen, hello. Uh, Chief Mini Body Lad is now less than 10 subs away from 2k. Oh, that's really good. That's actually, that's excellent that. So yeah, for those, um, if you haven't done so already, I would definitely recommend uh, subscribing to Bonnie Lad since he's only 10 subs away from reaching 2k, as Joel Citizen pointed out in the chat. So please, uh, if you haven't done so already, give Bonnie Lad a subscribe and help him get to 2,000 subs as quickly as possible. Uh, I'll even also see if I can share that on my Telegram page and, tell, and Twitter as well at some point. Uh, let me see who else. I think that's about... Well, there's Brom Al. Uh, miserable in the Midlands, lads. Uh, I mean, the weather's not been too good anywhere at the moment. Uh, let me see here. I think that's about it in terms of... Jose in the chat. Let's, uh, had a, Rob D had a drink. That's good. Oh, here we go. Joe Citizen sub to John Davidson here. That's a channel for the Blethern Pensioners channel. Uh, so that's really good. Thank you very much, Joe Citizen, for that. Uh, what Taylor uh, or Tyler 1381. Thank you for watching the stream. Uh, Joel Borg. Again, thank you for tuning into the, to the stream. Thank you for, for being on. And even Joe Citizen again sub to Sense Gaminum here. Again, uh, please, that, that would be awesome if you guys to do that. Subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel there. And I think I also see, yeah, Bonnie Lad's channel there as well. That's good. Show that. Just in case for that as well. Uh, English Sailor. Hello, sir. Thank you for watching the stream. Uh, let's see. 29 likes and rising. That's good. That's good to see so far. That's excellent. Uh, and Durham Fox. Thank you for watching the stream also. This is really good. Oh, a couple more people showed up. Gary Gardner's stack of ribs. Uh, even lads and lasses, weather's been a shite. Apparently a heat wave next week though, fingers crossed. I'm hoping for that too because I think we're coming towards the end of May and now we're getting into June. So that's going to be really good. So yeah, definitely fingers crossed for that. Uh, Hound of Ulster, hello Moody and Chat. Hello to you too. Thank you for watching the stream. And it looks like I've just hit 32 likes on the stream so far. So that's good, really good for the first episode of The Mood of the Nation. So that's excellent. Thank you guys so much for that. That's awesome of you guys to do that. I also see what I'm seeing on my screen. There's 30 people watching the stream so far. So that's perfect. Uh, let me see. Sarah Mara is a stream ending. No, no, no. We're not ending the stream. We're just getting started. So uh, I was a bit... The stream was supposed to start at 6 p.m., but I came in a little bit late, so you are actually are here just in time. We're not getting into any particular topics whatsoever, so that's that's going to be good in this case. Uh, like autumn and Somerset, right. Okay, so 
let's get right into the first episode of the Mood of the Nation. Cheers here, no worries, you're very welcome. Um, so I want to first we start off by giving a big shout out to this gentleman right here, uh, Scottish Tam. Now the reason for that being is because when I announced the name of the show last week as it was going to be the Mood of the Nation, uh, Scottish Tam, I, I'm pretty sure people have also seen it in the chat as well, that he asked if he, if he could do some of the artwork for the, the show, you know, like title cards and whatnot, um, like I've, sh I've shown everyone earlier on. To which I replied, yeah, that's absolutely fine, you could definitely do so. And he did, he, he submitted quite a lot of artwork for the show itself, so uh, I'm definitely going to be using those in the future for, like, say, specific... Uh, thumbnails and whatnot for the mood of the nation. The one that I had up for uh, posting it for a a advertising it on Twitter and whatnot. Um, I thought that kind of like said that that fed the theme of like the mood of of the nation all across Britain. So, but that's not not to say that uh, I won't be using any of the artwork. I'm definitely going to be using all the artwork for uh, for future streams. So, again, S Scottish time. I really want. If you're listening just now, I want to thank you so much for for that for for, for the artwork for for the show. It's really awesome for you to do that. So much so that um, I want to see if I can plug a couple of things. In fact, even Joe Sisson did that already as well. Sub the Scottish time here. So that's his YouTube link there. Um, I want to see if I can also plug your. Telegram art channel because again, for, 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 for those that don't know, he does submit quite a lot of really good art uh, on his um, Telegram channel. I think he's also got an Instagram account. So, um, on the one second here, yeah, anytime, Chief Mini Cheers, lads. No worries, Scottish time again. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see if I can quickly find uh, Scottish Times. Telegram channel, hold on one second here. Oh, even I gain a follower, 72 subscribers, that's good. Uh, right, I th think it might be this one if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Yeah, uh, ju just to, to, to uh, r remind me here, uh, Scottish Tam, is, um, is your Telegram channel stolen means in pro white themes, is that correct and just in case i don't know if that's like the right channel with that again it's just so that i give you like a bit of a plug for people to follow your uh, uh telegram channel and, and people to see your, your uh, future artwork and whatnot so uh thank the lord hello how you doing thank you for watching the stream this is really good uh let me see here i got it up on the screen here, so Telegram, just give me a bit of a confirmation and then I'll, I'll still see if I can plug that in as well. Or if Joe Sesson is, is going to be doing that, then again, he, he can feel free to do that as well, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out uh, Scottish Tam's work on either platforms like Instagram or, or uh, Telegram for, for, for all of that. Because he does produce really good artwork. And once again, I know I keep saying this, but I really want to... Uh, I think that might be it there. Yes, I think that's the one. Do you want me to just double check, Chill Citizen? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Without the question mark, uh, not sure if that if that was it. No, that's definitely it, Jewel Citizen. I just had a double check, and yeah, that's definitely the Telegram channel for his artwork. So yeah, if without the question mark, definitely um, click the link on that within the chat, and then follow uh. Scottish Times artwork channel on Telegram if you can. So, right, let me see here. Okay, so I just want to double check and see everything's working fine, and I got all the stuff I need for. Oh, there's actually one thing we can do. Um, at the moment, in terms of. <clears throat> We might as well just get this out of the way first of all, because I, I know that it might start off a bit like, like kind of like a really downbeat type of start for the stream. Um, let me see if I can find uh, this for a moment. Let me see here. So everyone knows yesterday was th uh, the uh, anniversary of Lee Rigby. Uh, I. I I don't think it, it, it really. I don't think it is. 
well, everyone knows exactly what happened to him. He was he was brutally murdered by uh, two. Uh, I think it was uh, Somalians, if, I, if, I'm not, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, or anything like that. But but the main point here was yesterday. Yeah, that was even, that was even eight years ago as well. That's damn. Uh, let me see if I can find that here. And let's see here. I'll, hold on. Uh, Red Pill Phil been yeeted. I thought he was okay. Um, not to my knowledge. I think he's still about Red Pill Phil. Uh, hold on. I'm pretty sure he's still around. I don't think he's been yeeted or anything like that at all. Hold on one second. Uh, there's Coach Red Pill. I think his channel's still up. Uh, Oh, I don't see his channel anywhere, which is a bit bizarre, because usually I would see... Hmm, that's really weird. Alright. Uh, right, let me see if I can find that here. Yeah, here we go, perfect. So what I want to start off, first of all, is uh, just to give a little bit of a tribute to Lee Rigby. Because uh, like I said just now, yesterday was the 8th... Uh, well, he died eight, 8 years ago because of the of the horrible event that happened to him. Um, so let's see if I can take this off for now and then go back onto YouTube. Again, we'll just play like a, a tribute video for him that was made uh, for, for Lee Rigby. So we'll just share that real quick. Get back on here. Let's just see if I can put the page up just like that. No, that size. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I'm just going to play this video and then we'll get into the next part. Well, I want to also play another video just to kind of like uh, after this one here. So I'll just get right to it just now. Uh, so three, two, one. You fought bravely and with honor died. You leave your family so full of pride. Sleep well, you soldier. Your job is done. Your war is over, your battle won. Our family chain is broken and nothing is the same. But as God takes us one by one, our chain will link again. Just real quick, sorry, I, um, <clears throat> I just remember there's also copyright music in this, so there will be times I'll just pause the video again, just so it, it avoids any copyright infringement or anything like that at all, so, um, so just a couple more seconds and then I'll play it again. Sorry about that, folks. It's just YouTube being really awkward when it comes to, you know, the whole copyright system on this platform, so, uh, but I think it's good to go, so, three, two, one...
we go. Oops, wrong bit there. There we go. Uh, there we go. So, uh, so that was a tribute video for Lee Rigby. That was on what channel was it? And uh, RM one hundred two subscribers. A tribute to Lee Rigby, a brave soldier, father and hero. May he rest in peace, by Anthony Chapman. Yeah, and that was a video that was made in twenty thirteen. So. I just cannot believe that was like eight years ago. That's crazy to think that it was that long ago. Um, but I, I, I was just, just real quick with that as well. I do apologize that I was kind of interrupting the video I, again. It was just because like I get like YouTube is known to be very, very awkward when it comes to the whole copyright infringement stuff. But I decided after that second time I paused it I thought you know what I'll just let it play and then people can just watch it and if I get like a copyright strike or anything like that at all then you know so be it you know the the the, the, the main pur purpose of, of that entire video especially because it happened like an anniversary wise yesterday is it's important that we still remember Lee Rigby uh, because what happened to him it was completely just horrible like well, even like, like uh, I don't have I I'm not really like like a parent myself, and I don't have any kids, but I I could just imagine what, what I well, it's it's not it's not really something that you can really imagine like just losing your child in, in that sort of way, or even like a family member or friend, uh, and then losing them in such a horrible way like that, you know. So, but. It's very important that we honor his memory and we keep his, his spirit alive, even to this very day. Which is why, for those who are watching the, in the chat just now, I want you to do a massive favor for this part. I know this made me start off with a bit of like a down, uh, a down kind of beat type of start for this episode, but I think it's important to bring this up because again, it's important that we still remember Lee Rigby. So I want you. Hold on one second. Uh, let's see it for just with that. Fine, no, I don't even need to type it. What I want you all to do is I want you all for me in, in the chat to type one for League Rigby, uh, if you can. Uh, that what that'll be special for this episode of, of the Mood of the Nation, a way of also properly, uh, Honoring again his memory regarding to that. So if you can all type in one in the chat just to honor Lee Rigby for me just now, you know that would be great. Oh Jesus, I'll just I'll keep through as well. Yep, let me see. Uh, yep, Scottish Town, Jonino, er everyone. Like it just all came at, at the same time. That's <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're all still coming through. Yep. Mhm. Mm uh, Sparky's sixteen ninety. Yep. That's crazy. It, I swear to God, folks! Like every as soon as I typed that all in, everyone in the chat it just it just came flooding right into the in, into the chat just now. That's awesome. No, but honestly, thank you very much for that, guys. That's really great of you all to do that. Honestly, in fact, let me just have a look at some of the comments made uh, that were there before we started watching a video. So I think we got to here. Uh, aye, Red Pill Phil is still on here. He's often on with Brett Girl. All right. Mm -hmm. That's the Manchester guy, the, the 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 black dude. I think he he was known as he appeared on the video arguing with some Antifa douchebags or something like that. But I followed their Telegram channel by incident. Uh, okay, let's find just respond to. Uh, Jules says no rights for kneeling at football matches for Lee Rigby. Uh, rest in peace, sir. No, no, right. That actually, that actually speaks major volumes regarding to that, of course. So uh, that people have a lot more respect for Lee Rigby than someone like I don't know. Uh, <laughs> even forget the guy's name, George Floyd. That that's the guy's name. Uh, my Lee Rigby comments often get removed. I try, but I can't contain my anger. No, I can definitely understand where you're coming from, Durham. Definitely. Uh, so I'm sure Michael Adabawali uh, was seriously ill with COVID in January and was in intensive care in hospital. Unfortunately, he survived and is, and is back in Broadmoor. Uh, rest in peace, Lee Rigby, gone but not forgotten. The fact that he, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that actually. Just, just in case, you know. <laughs> so, um, let me see. Yep. 
praying with the, with the rose. Uh, rest in peace, Lee lad. Yeah. Uh, jihad will never end. It is mainstream th- theolo- theology, not extremist. Nuke them. No apologies necessary. Uh, sense of communion. And yet we will have to suffer the remembrance of uh, palaver of St. Uh, Saint George Floyd in two days' time. Something that happened 3,000 miles away and has nothing to do with us. An absolute disgrace. I know. I know. It, it, it really says a lot that people in this country seem to care more about some criminal degenerate who's never done any good in his life and it's not even born within this country whatsoever but people here seem to to celebrate and treat him as like some kind of like a martyr for the black community rather than some actually celebrating lee rigby who actually did something and, and served his own country it's absolutely sad that it's it's actually fucking embarrassing that it really is but hey, we, we, we can, it's, it's easy to get angry with regard to that. But what is important is we still remember Lee Rigby, even to this very day, after eight years of what happened. His assailants were, were so cowardly they couldn't even face him one-on-one. They, ha- they first had to run him over from behind before setting about, setting about him utter slags. I know. It's just, it's just complete cowardice, what they did to him. Absolute cowardice. Uh, what is it? 40 likes and rising. That's really good. Perfect. Our victims, though actually many more than go reported, are forgotten as we have imagined slights thrown at us repeatedly. Yeah, I, I know. It's, it's only just going to get worse from here, regarding to that, of course. They care about what is permitted to care for. Exactly. Now, that's definitely a very valid point. They only care about what, what, is, being, what, is, what is permitted. Yeah. That's definitely a valid point. Now then, I know that seemed like a very downbeat type of start for the show, but again, and I do apologize if it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but it is important to remember Lee Rigby, which is why I'm going to see if I can get to, to the next video. Um, where was that? Let's see. I don't know if I've actually placed it in my links. Wait a minute. Oops. Let's see here. But I thought this video was like really, fu- really funny to watch. Uh, so for those that don't know, this video I'm about to show you is about the Labour Party. Uh, this was in a conference they did. I'm not too sure if it was meant to be this year or anything like that at all. Uh, or maybe last year for that matter. But it really goes to show, because like, they always wonder, why is it that, that the Labour Party keeps losing? Like, why is this? Like, what's happening here? And if you watch this video, it's like a short compilation type of video of all the clips gathered together. And you can easily see why uh, <laughs> they would always lose no matter what. Uh, let me see if I can quickly find that for you guys. And then see if we can play it. And I did had it. Damn it! Let's see. I know exactly who the uh, who uploaded the video. Uh, let me see if I can find this channel real quick. Let me see. God damn it! Should be there. Where is it? <laughs> I'd, I should have liked the video or maybe even place it as like a watch later, but never like gave that much of a thought. It's a video from someone who I used to speak to quite, not frequently, but quite a few times. But I would imagine that he would want nothing to, to do with me because I've now become uh, this side on the, uh, on, well, p- became like a, like a ethno-nationalist. Uh, where the hell is it? I'm pretty sure, sure I've seen it before. You know, this would be a lot better if I had this all pre- <laughs> prepared, but it's me we're talking about, of course, so. Uh, let me see. Right, maybe it's here, I would imagine. There we go, found you. Right, so found this channel, and then get to the video. 
Ah, here we, here we go. Perfect. Right, so the video in question is called Why Labour Keep Losing in Under 5 Minutes. Let me see if I can get to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already laughing, I can't say it with a straight face. Uh, sorry for bad quality in the image, source material wasn't that but that's about. Please consider donating. Ah, oh, okay, that's just for, for plugging this shit, oh, that's fine. Uh, right, so, um, okay, so I would assume that this was a conference they did uh, maybe earlier this year, or maybe, well, I don't think it would be this year because again, the whole COVID shit. But this was a, a conference they did, and it makes you, I, I guess it makes them wonder, you know, why does the labor keep losing? So let me just go ahead and uh, see if I can share the screen real quick for you guys. There we go, share audio. I've seen it as a proper call me free. Oh, you've seen it, Jojo. Yeah, you've seen the video. Yes, you know what I'm on about. And for those who haven't seen it, oh, this is just amazing. I was laughing my arse about it. This is just. Comrades, comrades. The beam, uh, comrades, comrades. Transgender comrades. Trans comrades. Comrades. LGBT plus comrades. Comrades. LGBT plus LGBT plus community. LGBT plus young people. LGBT plus 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 people. LGBT plus LGBT plus LGBT plus LGBT plus people. LGBT plus LGBTQ plus LGBTQ plus. LGBT plus pay gap, trans and non-binary, trans and non-binary, trans and non-binary people. I'm sent here by my CLP to represent our black, Asian, minority, ethnic members. For black, Asian and minority adults, black, Asian, minority, ethnic children. An inclusive and equitable national education service requires an ambitious and overarching plan for black, Asian and minority ethnic students, staff, including migrant children, adult learners and refugees. This is crucial in a time of rising racism. Um, Tom Barringer, Tottenham CLP, he him pronoun, he him pronoun. <laughs> one society, one species. I, I just want to pause it real quick. This is just, we're only like a minute in and already I just, I can't take this seriously. So, uh, what I always thought was really funny about the Labour Party is that they keep always wondering why is it that every time these general elections happen, they always seem to think that, well, they always keep on losing and they wonder why. It's because of stuff like this like these are supposed to be the people that are going to start the revolution right they're going to start by you know getting rid of all the fascists and like oh <laughs> well you could just have them just one minute look at them and you're just thinking there's you gotta be kidding me there's no way that <laughs> there's no i'm sorry but there's no way in hell that these people would take over <laughs> Like a group of people or start with some kind of revolution like who are these people kidding like <laughs> they're supposed to be the type of people we're supposed to be afraid of like no nah. <laughs> no absolutely no way now uh oh my god this is just hilarious anyway i'll continue on from here so. all working together no borders no discrimination everybody working if you've seen star trek then you might appreciate that <laughs> I just wanted to get up and speak and show. He's like, sorry, I'm just again. He's using Star Trek. Like he quotes Star Trek just to make a point. <laughs> what a fucking nerd. And my solidarity with all the different women we've had speaking today. We need to challenge the patriarchy, and we need to challenge patriarchal structures. Patriarchy is about who holds the power, what they do with that power, and who makes the decisions. The feminist, Bell Hooks, she says that patriarchy isn't gendered. And we all know women, Margaret Thatcher, Theresa May, but we all know women in our own circles who are not necessarily sympathetic to the issues that women face. That black and Asian and immigrant delegates are given priority to speak. That it is not just our role as a party to fight against injustices that we see today, but we must also correct the injustices of the past. Again, my apologies for pausing a lot, right? You know what I've just... I, I, I've seen this video a couple of times. You know what I've just noticed, by the way? This is the same Labour Party that are talking about diversity quotas and all equality this, equality that. As you can see with their tagline, for the many, not the few. If you notice a pattern here with the, the, the group of speakers that are appearing on the stage right now, they're mostly white. <laughs> I mean, sure, you may get like a brown person, you'll get a black person, you'll get an Asian person here and there, but most of the people, 
<laughs> most of the people who have these talking points and appearing on the stage just now are mostly white. All of these white girl ridden douchebags, it's just it's it's just funny to watch, honestly. <laughs> and these are the same people are wondering why do we keep losing in these general elections? I wonder why as well. <laughs> it really makes you think, doesn't it? Referring to the Kashmiris as committing terrorist acts. I mean it's more like acts of resistance in my personal opinion. I think there should be a reference back on that, thank you. Thank you. Nothing good will come of Brexit. It is a far-right project. Liverpool, Walton, CLP, uh, the safest seat in the United Kingdom, 85.7% Labour. And we are kicking the fascists out of Liverpool again and again and again. We are not Leavers and Remainers. <laughs> we are socialists. To fight imperialism, to truly defeat it, we must do so on a class basis, on the basis of socialist internationalism and working class solidarity. I stand before you as a trans woman, oh. a lesbian and a Pisces. <laughs> I know, right? LGD, LGB, why can't they have a better acronym than that? LGBTQ+. Plus. I note that yesterday evening, <laughs> one of the fringe events was held by a transphobic hate group. We, delegates are being asked to vote for members of the National Constitutional Committee and there is no gender quota. Oh, she looks like a proper Karen. <laughs> in that ballot. That is outrageous. We must end capitalism. And we can only do that with a Labour government led by Jeremy Corbyn. The last speaker was defamatory towards Composite 17. And I know in law, def defamation has a certain standing. I'm sorry, that was, it's not a point of order. He wasn't defamatory, he just raised a different point of view. I haven't seen a black man speaking today. I lift my hand, I wasn't there. We exist, is the only thing I want to say. We do exist. <laughs> okay, Tyrone. <laughs> Delegate, thank you for your point of order. And as the first East Asian woman ever chairing conference, I understand the importance of representation. Ours is a migrant nation. <laughs> Epidemic of sexist and sexual bullying and, har and harassment fuelled by online porn. Conference. The reason for this failure is down to one thing. Capitalism. Capitalism is immoral. I second. <laughs> Workers of the world, unite. You have nothing to lose but your chains. <laughs> that if we don't pull together, if we don't get our together Boris Johnson is gonna win <laughs> if we don't get our shit together Boris Johnson is gonna win well <laughs> uh, oh my god L Labour Party there oh my god <laughs> oh jeez this <laughs> oh I'm sorry I just you watch that and you just think there's there's no way you would take the Labour Party seriously, like just for Tyrone and the notes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh ugly truth. Hello sir, are you there? Thank you for watching the streams. <laughs> just none of them could even bend an iPhone for fuck's sake. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my god, these <laughs> Let me have a look and see the comments <laughs> just right now because, oh my god, let's see here. Where did I get to the last time? Uh, let me see here. Charlie Kirkwright, hello sir, how you doing? Thank you for watching the stream. Uh, let me see here. I think I got up to about here. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Hope you've all read uh, Turner Diaries a <laughs> lot. Go woke, go go broke. Uh, that's why phony Blair is is flexing his gob again to try and make a com comeback and fuck the country up even more that that he did the first time around. Oh Jesus! Ah <laughs> oh, man, I really hope people don't. I still would never support Tony Blair again because the, yeah, that that whole fiasco, like his run as as prime minister. Woo! -hoo, that was really bad. Uh, Labour lo lose because loses because the party are full of losers. 
that Collins only win, uh, Conservatives only win because of them, I'm politically homeless. Uh, let me see, and I've seen a comment with that. Uh, dear Labour MP, maybe start advocating for the indigenous people of this island. I, I mean, you think they would do that, but well, the thing is, the, the Labour as a party, we all know, is of course, but Labour as a party were more for uh, the working class. But now it seems like they're just completely not for the working class anymore. Instead, they want to go for the for the woke agenda now at this point, and it's just it's really sad to watch. It really is because. You know, back in my teenage years, I used to be uh, a labor supporter myself. But I'm 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 glad I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad that I'm now conservative at this point because just seeing that alone is just absolutely embarrassing. <laughs> uh, do they clap by waving their hands? Uh, again, you think they would do that because there's some uh, attention little sno- attention seeking little snowflake would be like oh that 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 triggers my hearing oh, how dare you clap you know jazz hands and all that gay shit uh not seeing this thank you <laughs> no worries are my ears supposed to be bleeding right now um <laughs> i mean I, I would imagine so as as labor after all so core blimey yeah i know right <laughs> It'll take Labour 10 years to even start to recover from this. Oh, I, I I don't know about 10 years. I think it's going to take a long, long time before before the, the, uh, the party goes back to the way it was back in the day. So anyone but straight white, yeah, I know. <laughs> Never crazed lone gunman about when really needed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. For the many, not the do. <laughs> The absolute freaking state. No wonder Antifa wear masks. Yeah, uh, it really makes you think that, doesn't it? Why they always wear balaclavas? Uh, let me see. <laughs> Even though I just popped in quickly at work this evening. Th- thank you for j- joining the show, Gamma Sandwich. That's really awesome of you. Uh, British political parties for the foreign. <laughs> at least wear a tie to look interested. Uh, James Andrew Morrison. More like they say they care about that, which is uh, permitted, but in reality, care only for themselves and, and their place in the war and the packing order. Exactly. That's that's ultimately what they care more about nowadays. Instead of for the people, they just care about themselves at this point. And, try, and of course, <laughs> trying to work, uh, trying to appeal to the, uh, the 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 small minority of of the woke brigade, if you will. Uh, people before privilege. What the fuck does that does that mean? I know, right? It, it makes no sense whatsoever. It makes no sense. Uh, line up like an, like an like airplane to slap the bitches. <laughs> oh man, go play with your Lego, you ditch cloth doorknob. <laughs> They're all as mad as a, as a nicked box of hornets. Uh, uh, leaders. Yeah, I know because you look at them and you think for for one minute and you think there's no way they any one of them can become like a quote unquote leader. Like there's no way. Free fest is an understatement. <laughs> uh, let me see. The black and Asian delegates of the party shouldn't even be here. I know exactly. Uh, Emily Thornberry is god awful. <laughs> Let's see. Share the link, please. I'm crying. Yeah, what to do, Johnny Nog? I'll see if I can find that link again. And, then, and I'll post it in the chat for you. Hold on one second here. Uh, where is it? I'm just going to... It should be on there, actually. The history. But one minute. Oh, there it is. Right. Duh. I always keep thinking it's on that side because of my phone. But, right. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to post a link to that video in the chat just now. This is just for Johnny Apollo uh, MBE. Uh, copy and paste that. There we go. Yeah, so that's the link in the chat just now for you, John. Uh, if you can see that, then that's the link for that video we just watched, so you're very welcome. Uh, Scottish Town. These people are so transparent in their pandering to the perceived minority, pure pathological altruism. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Sounds like something needs to be done about this uh, Pat Rich. <laughs> uh, let me see. 
what the fuck is that? A trans? Uh, what? A tra <laughs> Not one is wearing a full suit. All oh, uh, uh, what the fuck? Let's see. Epileptic. <laughs> Uh jeez. So why is the English bloat flying that English flag? We sister. I just you know there's there's one person in that panel that I absolutely love. What was the guy? The guy who was from uh in the red shirt, where is he? Yeah, he's he's from the he's from Liverpool of course. Yeah. Is uh Alan Gibbons, Liverpool Walton C L P uh, <laughs> just him just completely acting like a complete spare like oh we'll get the fascists out of Liverpool again and again and again it's like listen me someone can have one look at you and think like they could fucking take you down like who the fuck are you kidding like hold on let me share the screen again just so you know what I'm on about hold on cause I'm sure that this Alan guy he tries to act like as if oh he'll take on a fascist yeah this dude right here well, you just look at him and you think, I can fucking take him down. Anybody can take this clown down. Who the fuck is he kidding? This is supposed to be the people that are going to, as I said before, these are the people that are going to start the revolution for, like, uh, Britain to become a communist state. <laughs> oh, my God. What a complete joke. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's an absolute joke, these people are. <laughs> well, why do we keep losing? Like, we're, we're labor. We're supposed to be for the many, not the few. <laughs> Just look at your policies. Look at the, your leaders. Look at the people that are behind the actual political party. <laughs> Emily Thornberry thinks the St. George's Cross should be banned. Had a dig at white van man. If all, if any other pol politician said that about the peace falls for the alphabet morons, they 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 have been sat. And no, exactly, yeah. Like, but again, we're definitely seeing a, com a complete double standard with that. It's okay when the left does it, but if ever ever right wing does it or anything like that at all, then you're right. Says them, they'd be completely uh, sacked for that. The double standard is definitely on on display there regarding to that. Uh, they quite literally couldn't organize a piss up in a brewery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not sure why we keep losing. Uh, was he holding his head on? I don't. I don't fucking know. Uh, she's got a, a five head. <laughs> uh, one's the gender quotas. Can't tell us how many genders there are. <laughs> Uh, state of these clowns. I know it's just a uh, dear me. We, we we know you exist. Crime stars. Tell us so. <laughs> uh, Blue Ronnie, thank you for watching the stream. I haven't seen you before, but again, thank you very much. We do it. Ex I wish they would. <laughs> I think it's down to the genetics. Too much emotion. A female trait. Short lived for the world. You know, <laughs> yeah, for Tyrone and the nose. Uh, all that. that <laughs> proper working class. This lot. This made my week. Uh, this is the problem with the left. They empower weak people who would have been correctly marginalized in a normal society. Alas, the social currency is based on victimhood. This is this law is minted. Yeah, it's definitely all about victimhood. Definitely. Yeah, uh, he had nothing to lose by his double ch <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. It's like the. It's like babysitting but you can give the baby back at the end of the shift <laughs> oh man how ugly <laughs> good evening chief mini scott Summer. thank you for watching the stream hello to you too sir uh what you can also do is i'll give you a shout out as, as well because for those that don't know scott scott's armor is just fairly new to the youtube scene uh he's a Content creator that does like uh, political and social commentary on anything to do, to do with politics. Um, I think, he, correct me if, if, if I'm wrong in saying this, Scott's Armour, but I, I believe you, you have like similar views to you No Chance and also Resisting the Lies or anything like that at all. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll see if I can find your channel and I'll also just see if I can post that in the chat for many people to give you like a follow as well so let me see uh right scott's armor right let's have a look at that here uh oh yeah there's your channel there perfect i'm actually happy for you sir because you've just reached um well oh turn it off for now there we go because i watched no chances uh 
I've seen this uh, Telegram post about your channel got to 100 subs, and then all of a sudden it got to 150, and now currently speaking, you're on 181 subscribers. Let me help you out with that just a little bit. Let's see. So what I'll do, folks, is there's the link to... I'm pretty sure Joe says and me have already beat me to the punch with that, but if he hasn't done so already, then there's the link to Scott Sarmer's YouTube channel, and please give him a follow. Uh, he's got 189 subs just now, but it would be appreciated if uh, you guys can also give him a follow as well, because no chance once said that it's a good idea to get all uh, like more Scottish uh, YouTubers to be on the scene when it comes to politics, to speed out the mainstream narrative. So, Scott Sarmer, welcome to the scene. Uh, it's, it's good to have you on. I thank you for watching the stream as well, and uh, hopefully more people will sub to your channel as well. So, uh, let's see here with that. Sammy Shaw, that's just a bunch of angry wee people who are angry at everybody who is better off than them. Communism is a nut Communism in a nutshell. No, that's definitely true. That's If I even... John Davidson and I talked about this on this uh, stream this past Thursday, as I mentioned at the start of today's episode. Because uh, we briefly touched upon socialism and communism, and that's basically what communism is. It's basically someone's completely jealous of, of another person because they're more well-off than them. So the person who supports communism basically wants to take away anything, the person who's well-off, and wants to... Oh, sorry, excuse me. And want to make up some kind of bullshit excuse of, oh, well, we think every everyone and everything should be treated fair and, and equally. When it's so blatantly obvious that uh, they're just doing it because they're jealous and they just want to have some, some well, not some of the wealth, but basically have people going through the same kind of... Uh, uh, same misfortunes as they do. So, oh, well, if I can't get any good stuff, then no one can. You know, that sort of idea. It's really selfish, but that's ultimately what these comments are, really. So, Bonnie Lad, thank you for watching the stream. Sorry for being late. No, don't worry about it. We're, not, we're It's only just 10 past 7. I think we've got just a, uh, maybe like a, an hour, half an hour to go or something like that. Because there's actually an article I actually want to get into just a short second here. Uh, even Joe, hope you're doing well, mate. Let's see here. What else? What else? Uh, evening gammon sandwich. Maybe you uh, seen or heard a message. Was, e e every British party for the foreigner. Oh, we've seen that message before. It must be like a repeat sort of thing. Uh, let me see. Brace, Blood and Braces, sir. Academic agent did a great stream a few days ago, highlighting where Blair is pushing to be the next Labour leader. Good luck with that. I'm actually surprised that he, that uh, Tony Blair is actually planning on coming back, or at least he wants to come back. Jesus, vote Labour. Who would rather shit in my hands and clap? <laughs> Labour are screwed. Celebrate. Yeah, I mean there there's no way that party can come back. There's absolutely like Labour at this point in time. Mainly in this case the. Um, Westminster Labour, they're done. Like them as a political party, they're completely done. Uh, I did say to even start <laughs> uh, Oh, another familiar face. Cyborg, how you doing, my fellow sir? How you doing? Thank you for watching the stream. And also, uh, uh, thank you for watching the first ever episode of the new um, my new podcast, The Mood of the Nation. Uh, so again, thank you very much for watching the stream as well. And I did see... Uh, the um, uh, the post from Patriotic Alternative Scotland uh, for today. There was really good, really nice images that that came out with that. Uh, it's really awesome of you guys to do that. So I wish I was there, but again, the only reason I, I didn't come along today was because of uh, other commitments, sort of thing. Uh, but hopefully something gets planned another time, and we'll see. We can plan like a hangout or anything like that. So we'll see. Uh, who else in the chat? Uh, Light Dutton says, Spiteful Mutant says, <laughs> that, that's definitely true. Oh yeah, there's the link for Bonnie Lad's Telegram chat as well, if you want to follow him there as well. Uh, I'll just have a look at that here. Uh, yeah, that's fine, there's a couple of minutes in there, but that's fine. Uh, Cyborg Mini looks like he collects Legos Star Wars stuff. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Let's see, just in case. 
Uh, even the students' union uh, loons talk more sense than labor these days. Uh, yeah, I can I can maybe see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, John is saying cheers for the link. No worries. Uh, Hound of Ulster. Uh, we don't even have to do anything to destroy their rep. They do it themselves by existing. Yeah, that's definitely a valid point. That of course, definitely. That keeps coming up with, with the Wi-Fi banner for some reason. Hopefully, it doesn't... Well, the connection seems to be fine just now, but I don't know what that's about, but... Oh, well. Uh, they were going to murder you, no joke. Laughing at it as a cop, yeah. And, of course, there's a link for Bonnie and Lance Telegram chat again. That's fine. Uh, it's not altruism because they say these things not to help others, but to climb higher on the, on the labour spur tree. <laughs> again and again. Uh, let me see. The only thing he is in danger to is a box of donuts. <laughs> oh my god. He couldn't take even notes, I know. <laughs> uh, right, let's see. That bloke couldn't even take this for fuck's sake. Yeah, comrades, I, I know. <laughs> it's just, it's so cringy uh, hearing <laughs> I don't know if there's maybe like a bit of a delay in the, in the chat because all the stuff. Hold on. Uh, Liverpool is bad for, for these idiots. Uh, they're everywhere, unfortunately, but and I have to live by them. It's getting harder to drive past them and not abuse them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think Joe says and beat me to the punch for posting. Uh, is that the same? Yeah, it's the same link. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's saying the chat. They're subbed to. Uh, Scott's armor, so that's really good. That's uh, perfect. Uh, yep, that's good. Good, good. Uh, let's see. Scott's armor. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, mate. Very appreciated. Uh, many things we agree on. Top man, Moody. No worries, Scott's armor. Again, you're very welcome on that. Uh, let's see. They want equal outcomes. Oh, yeah, in terms of like communism, yeah, definitely. Communism, blame others, wipe my backside for me. <laughs> that's also a very valid point for <laughs> that. Uh, Communism only serves losers. Uh, the commies of Liverpool have filled their po pockets. Believe me, you want to see the properties the these people own. I think I might have seen, was it like a documentary or like a couple of images? But yeah, some of the areas are just, just completely horrible. That, uh, to me, the Labour Party conference looks like oops. Looks like a collection of misfits throwing tantrums not about not give, being given power over normal people every year. It definitely does come off as that, especially some of them. Like that that that, that black dude at towards the end of, of the video where it's like, oh, I was like, the, what, what did he say? He, he said that I was like the only person speaking up or something like that. It's like, okay, I, I, and your point being? <laughs> Blair was the only one driving the... Oh. <laughs> Uh, Blair is, is a banker's puppet, so if he is coming back, it, it is to further their agenda. That's, that's a really scary thought, that. A woman down the lane from me thinks Blair was the best politician we ever had. Never un underestimated the predictability of stupidity. Uh, well, again, there's people nowadays, even years later, that you'll get people who are complete um, Tony Blair supporters, no matter what. Which... <sighs> I don't know why, but there's there's definitely people out there that are like that. So, uh, Scott Armour, Labour aren't even a dying dog. They are the guy that's in his forties that's still boasting about the things that they'd done twenty to twenty five years ago. They should be put to rest. Would be the kindest thing, really. <laughs> I definitely would agree. Revenge of the Nerds. It definitely feels like like a real life version of Re of the Revenge of the Nerds. But the Nerds are now taking over. Which is why I think we need to bring back bullying, but in Minecraft, of course. So, <laughs> thought I saw the first Scouser superhero today. He was running down the street wearing a cape. It turns out he hadn't paid for his haircut. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, dear. <laughs> oh my God! There's more chat coming through. Like, uh, I don't know. Again, there's maybe like a delay or something. Oh, beer hole pooch. Hello. Oh, thank you for watching the stream. It's been a long time, actually. I don't know if, 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 if maybe I've seen you in a long time or anything like that at all. But again, thank you very much for watching the stream and also tuned in to the first episode of the Mood of the Nation podcast. Um, 
Yes, John Harvard, there was a brand new generation for him to get his fangs into. As Horace says, we, we should focus our attention on the conservatives. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I could definitely see why Horace would say it. we should focus on them a lot more because the conservatives at this point, regardless if it's uh, Westminster conservatives or Scottish conservatives, today's conservative political parties are are not really conservative. They're more like conservative in name only and they're just a bunch of uh, controlled opposition types, which is why it's a good idea to uh, call them out for what they are as you know, conservatives and actually show people that, hey, we're the alternative. We're the people that actually care about the future of this nation, the future of our people. So please, you know, give us a follow and all of that. So... Uh, oops, let's see. Conservatives serve the con. That's definitely true. What's the nice show with uh, Colette? Is it Book Club this time? No, I've seen a post on this Telegram chat. So for those that don't know, uh, uh, Mark Colette is going to be live on his uh, Odyssey. And I think it's going to be appearing on um, DLive, but on Patreon Talk channel, I think. Uh, it's not a book club review, but it's going to be <clears throat> like a gameplay review he normally does uh, from time to time. And this time he's going to be playing uh, Resident Evil 4. So if you're interested in anything like that at all, his stream starts at 8pm tonight. So do give it a watch uh, if, if you want to, of course. So uh, let me see here. Uh, Labour are Islamic Marxists. Their whole philosophy is to destroy the white working class. Exactly. That's basically them in a nutshell as, nutshell as well. Uh, yeah, sends him even respond. He's playing games on DLI for me at 8pm. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Perfect. Uh, right. Okay, so 20 past 7. I actually cannot believe we're this length of time already. Um, right, what I'll do is I'll see if I'll get into the next segment here, which is something that brought to my attention by uh, Blue Monday on Telegram. Uh, it was a video and also a couple of articles I can share as well. Uh, and then we'll see if we can have a look at that, this case here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get into that, that last segment and I'll read more uh, messages in the chat and then we'll see if we can end the episode uh, this case here. Also, Bonnie Land and Horror streaming this evening. Oh, all right, okay, that's perfect. Uh, is that going to be on Bonnie Lad's channel or is that going to be on Horace's uh, uh, other platform? Because I don't know if Horace is back on YouTube. I did see him, uh, but I don't know if maybe that's the same Horace, but... Uh, don't know. I, I don't know if it may be like appearing on like a different uh, channel or anything like that at all. But no, but it's good that, that they'll be streaming this evening. So again, if you're not interested in video games or anything like that, then there's like an alternative for you guys there. So that's good. Uh, right. Let me see if I can find. So let me just quickly re refresh the page for Scott Summers' account. Hold on. Yeah, two hundred one subs. That's good. Perfect. That's really good to see. I'm just checking to see any updates with that. No, that's fine. Perfect. Uh, right. Uh, Chief Mini on Body Last Channel. All right, okay, that's fine. Let's see here. Horace. <laughs> uh, right, let me see if I can find... I don't know if maybe if they're alive now, but nah. I don't know. If, no, I don't think they'll be live just now, but let me see here. That would be kind of funny if if they were alive and maybe. Chat Ah, oh, I've yeah, I've seen a Sunday eight p.m. stream chat. Yeah, I've I've seen it earlier on. Right, that that's fine. Uh, so that's going to be, yeah, Sunday eight p.m. stream chat about social media. Bonnie Lad, which is going to be on the, on this channel, featured Horace. Uh, Scottish Tam and Sense of Camino, right, and that's going to be at 8pm, so that's fine. So you got either Mark Collette's stream at 8pm tonight, where he plays Resident Evil 4, or you can tune into Bonnie Lad's channel and watch uh, the stream featuring uh, Hor Horace, Scottish Tam and Sense of Camino, so perfect. That's completely fine. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oops, 
Horus, Horus, Horus. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if, if, if it's me, like my, my pronunciation or anything like that at all, but uh, Horus, yeah. I think I, I pronounce it as Horus, but maybe that's just me, so. <clears throat> uh, it's not like a, a normal name I use in my, like, in my own personal vocabulary or <laughs> anything like that at all, so. I'll listen to Bonnie and watch Call It. Oh, that's fair, yeah. And that's, that, that's such a really good idea, though, actually. Uh, I think Horus is on Odyssey now. Yeah, I think he's on there. Pretty much almost every everyone from our side is on Odyssey now at this point. Uh, maybe a small handful of us are still on YouTube, but anyway. Right, so without further ado, let me see if I can get the links up I need just now. But let me also show you guys a video Blue Monday also sent me as well. Uh, this is really bizarre. Let me see if I can have this. Okay. So this is meant to be the new Scottish dance scene uh, shown to me earlier on. Let me see. And I'll see if I can find... Oops. Alright, where is Blue Monday's message? Hold on. I did see it earlier on, but... Right, okay, it should definitely be there. Ah, uh, there we go. Right, okay, so... Yeah, so this video is, is uh, welcome to the Scottish music scene. First up, a gang of black trans uh, gyrating to back and track they stole from an illegal rave. Uh, okay, so let me just qu quickly close that as well. S still struggling with Odyssey. Yeah, I heard Odyssey is not, like... It's all right, but it's, it's not properly imp implemented or anything like that at all, but... Um, hopefully the website may be a lot better in terms of like interface or anything like that. Though I'm, I'm not tech, tech savvy myself with that, but uh, Hearts of Coke are streaming in five minutes. It's a it's a I start with Israel to your special popover for the downfall. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Okay. That would <laughs> that'd be great. Fine. Let me see if I can find that here. Hold on. Hearts of Co I think it's Hearts it's uh, Hearts of Oak, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Hearts of Oak. Let me see. Damn, I don't see if I can find it here on Oh no, right, there there's a channel, right, okay. That's fine. And then Yeah. Is it is it this one? Hold on. Uh, right, I can't really seem to find the um, link here. Oh, perfect, Joe says, and thank you, your lifesaver. Uh, right, okay, so if I can see that here, okay. If I, what I'll do is, okay, so what I was gonna do, maybe we can try that in terms of like, like the articles i was going to cover maybe we can cover that maybe next week's episode or something like that because at, at david coleman 2066 thank you very much for pointing that out that could be a good idea to maybe end the episode with a bit of bands kind of a thing but uh let me see here so it's gonna be really funny that uh, all right let's see Okay, so don't, yep, copy, paste that, uh-huh, oops, damn it, okay, for support, <laughs> right, let me see if I can find, it. so I got the art, not article, sorry, I got the link here, because again, Joel Citizen posted that for, for this uh, stream, that's good, so let me see if I can... We'll begin in I uh, found here. Perfect. Okay. So if I go back on to <laughs> give it a dislike. <laughs> Perfect. Uh right, okay. Uh -huh. Damn, it's not showing up on my history. Damn. Okay. 
Right. Well, what to do, guys, is if that stream starts, uh, someone can, like, please let me know, and then we can see if we can maybe do, like, a stream sniping type of thing. That would be pretty funny, so. <laughs> uh, Hearts of Woke, man. <laughs> I see people in the chat are not... Yeah, I'm not particularly fans of Hearts of Oak as well, because... Uh, <laughs> There, uh, to me, the, the, uh, it, it goes back to this idea of what I said before. They're basically just a bunch of controlled opposition. They're just doing it for the money, and that's pretty much it. Uh, Hearts of Zion. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, Hearts of Broke. Uh, Ten dislikes to go, folks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sense. Oops. Shalomi was at the pro-Israel march today. <laughs> but, Oh yeah, like, I've I've seen something like that. Like Tommy was like, uh, <laughs> was like uh, marching along the, uh, protesting for for Israel. Like that's just, uh, it's just it's cringy stuff. That to be honest, it really is just cringy stuff. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, and they have disabled the chat. I wonder why. Oh, are you serious? So the wait a minute. So the. The stream hasn't even started yet, and already they've disabled the chat. Why would they do that? I really wonder why they would disable the chat. So let's have a look here. So it's got 27 likes and 24 dislikes. Yeah, that's really bizarre, that. I wonder why they would disable the chat like that. So, name of the stream. Pro-Jewish demo outside the Israeli embassy in London with Tommy on Sunday, the 23rd of May, 2021. Jesus Christ. Oh, maybe that could be a kind of a good idea for for that maybe i'll do like a slight reaction to that stream uh so it's <laughs> they shut it down but see that's the thing with that like, what the fuck are they so afraid of you know well we all know what, what they're afraid of because they, they don't they're, they're not really conservatives they don't really stand for shit they're basically people who would rather uh claim to be some kind of hold on a second but yeah, as I was saying, when it comes to people like Tommy Robinson and all of that, uh, oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no worries. Okay, no worries. Uh, so, uh, let me see. So I was just saying, when it comes to the likes of Tommy Robinson and all of that, um, you know, they're just basically controlled opposition. These are people that are not in the best interest of conservative values or anything like that at all. All they care about is just making money, and that's it. That's literally all it is regarding to that. Uh, so, I'm <laughs> just... We all know why also that they would completely close the chat as well. Because they know the type of people that will come into it anyway, so... Uh, right, let me see if I can... Uh, right, okay. Sorry folks, I'm just double checking something here, just for... No, it's not right, one second here. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, Voice of Wales, guys, please. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Right, let's see. Hopefully the stream will be on, because that's going to be really interesting. So, And again, we'll, we'll not spend too much time on, on that stream or anything like that. It's just going to be just seeing what, what what that's all about, and then we'll see from here. It's just started, right? That's perfect. Let me see if I can find the stock. Whoops, that's not. Ah, here we go. Right, perfect. Right, so just see if I can get that up here. And then, oh, that's not what I wanted, damn it. Right, history. Hearts of Oak, yeah, perfect. Right, so let me just share the stream, or share the stream, share the screen, sorry, my bad. Uh, here, oh yeah, probably I want. Tommy, we're here outside the Israeli Embassy, Zan's Federation <laughs> Demo in support of Israel. So what are you doing here in London? It's a carnival, carnival atmosphere, right? I saw the atmosphere yesterday. I saw every pro-Palestinian um, demonstration. There's riots, there's violence, there's attacks. I've just seen a festival, yeah? And I'm here just to score decoration, promise Jewish people the entirety of the land, yeah? In 1937, they, the Jewish people were offered 20%. They accepted 20%. The Arabs still said no. To, Arabs said no to 80%. In the accepted 55%. The Arabs still said no. 
they will continue to say no. So I'm just here to say, and we see the final straw for me was when you see cars travel down from the, and drive through with megaphone speakers saying we're going to rape your daughters and rape your sisters. I can only think how terrified many Jewish people must be at the minute in this country. I've just come to say that the English people, the true English people, stand with you. We stand with Israel. We stand with their right to defend themselves. That's the Great thing. to see you, Tommy. No, it's good to be here. Yeah, had a good day. <laughs> I also just want to point out 56 likes, 35 dislikes. Oh, Jesus. Uh, as also, you can still see here. Close that. Of course. Chat completely disabled. <laughs> what a surprise. Thank you, Jonathan. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce Rabbi Andrew Shaw of Mizrahi, UK. Thank you, Rabbi. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? So that was the uh, pro Israeli demonstration and on day from 133 outside the Israeli embassy and uh, Tommy turned up which was a nice surprise and oh I think we've got the police coming past uh, I think they're all after Tommy so it was a good fun day uh, it was a bit wet and why is with the stream keep buffering what is it I mean, there. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a there's a chat disabled there. God damn it! Uh, right, okay. I don't know what that's about. I mean, you think they're sponsored by you know Israel? You think they would have a much better connection? But I, I guess not. <laughs> so it was a good fun day. It was a bit wet, and. It was This is uh... a... <laughs> no, nah, it can't be to do with my connection, is it? Wait a right, you can still see it. Right, okay. So, it was a good fun day. It was a bit wet. And... Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that stream, but uh, can everyone stop? <laughs> a TR. I don't know what that's about. I mean, you think they would have a really good connection with that, but apparently not, so damn it. Uh, right, okay. Let me see if I can, I can get that sorted. Because again, we won't watch that stream uh, any longer or anything like that at all, but we'll just see if we can get that sorted here. Uh, right. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay, so uh, I wonder if it, if if it's still going on the chat, it's still live. I don't know if <laughs> what if a <laughs> eleven watt and the other small. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You have called out for Jesus a double times so far this chat, and they were all in vain. Since the native English hate being made aware of that, all all is for for nigh, and Satan has free reign in the West. Oh, jeez. Thunked sent. <laughs> uh, they they disperse very quickly when they are being asked to chip in to pay for the security. <laughs> uh, let me see. Sarah Murrow, well, my apologies with that regard to that, so my apologies. 
Uh, let's see. Why is unquestioned support for Israel any kind of sign of being true English people, Tommy? Really good question, that. Um, let me see. Hopefully that will be working now. Uh, let's see. Go back to history. Oh. No, the stream ended. The stream ended. Oh my gosh. Right, okay. Uh, it's not just you, mate. It's every native English speaker. Oh, right. I, 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 see, I see where you're coming from with that. No worries. That's totally fine. Uh, cries and wailing. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me just share the screen again, just so you know that I'm not kidding here. Hold on one second. Uh, right. So they did a stream, right? Live, live nine minutes ago. And it just ended. Five minutes, 35 seconds. That's, that's a relatively short stream, that. <laughs> and Jerry's getting it to start. Yeah. To be fair, After maybe... Tommy. So it was a good fun day. It was a bit wet. And... Was... And that's it. It just cuts off. It just ends. Maybe... Uh, I don't, I, I don't know what kind of a stream that would be, but I'm pretty sure that maybe they'll try and do something, like maybe have it on again, but... Uh, comments are open beneath the video. Remember to please keep your comments civil. Oh, that's a good point. Front wheel kiss, kids. <laughs> a reporter for hate speech might have something to do with that. Oh, dear. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ah, oh, that'd be funny. That'd be really funny. Mm -mm. The Calerica Supporters Club. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if there would be any comments or anything like that, because, well, I wouldn't imagine there'd be any uh, now or at the moment, but, but the, I mean, God, that's like, that's relatively quick. Because you think for a stream like that, that you think that maybe they'd be posting... Maybe like an hour or something like that, but all right. Oh, and the live chat is actually open. All right, okay, that's pretty weird, but all right. Uh, so let me see if I can share that and see what the comments are saying within. Oh, no, one second. Ethan, hello, sorry. Oh, uh, now Dave, how you doing? Thank you for watching the stream. Uh, go to Danny Roscoe channel for vid in in them. All right, let me see. Uh, Danny, oops, Roscoe. <laughs> Danny Roscoe, I've never heard of this guy before, but... Oh, Mr. From Tommy, so I guess he's like a Tommy tart himself, oh, that's no surprise there. Uh, go to Danny Roscoe channel for a bit of them. Uh, okay. Uh, just remember for the wildings north of his <laughs> wall before you post your comment, Hamps is watching. <laughs> yeah, Klaus, yeah, Klaus even said another Tommy Tard. Right, let's check out. I'm assuming it's for me to put on the Israeli demo with Tommy Robinson live. Is that the same one we're on about? Because it is, I'll definitely see if I can play a bit of that on the stream and then see from there. <clears throat> Mm. That was fine. Okay, yeah, latest. Oh, yeah, latest one, right? That's fine. I'll just see if it can pop up on the screen. And again, it's this. This video is about an hour and forty minutes long, so we won't definitely watch the full thing. But we'll just check out just a couple, a few minutes of it. Uh, post it. I think. Right, I got up here. And then I'm going to have a look at this together, so... Uh, right, okay, so who's this Danny Roscoe fella? I've never heard of them before, but let's give it a look. So, of course, again, this was, like, earlier today, and... Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Oh, 
Oh my god. Is that really how quiet it is? I mean, I know it's like a group gathering, but Jesus Christ, you think... Oh, there he is. Free Gaza from Hamas. Jesus Christ, what a fucking sellout. Shane is out, people! <laughs> but I just, I just want to make a quick comment real quick, right? I love these Sith Nats. They're all about, you know, they're... they're "Quote unquote nationalists, right? They're all about, you know, the, the for 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 British values and all of that. But oh, but 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 also support Israel. Why? You're you you, you can pretty much look at all these people. Not all all of them are are, are all white. Not all of them are Jewish. You know, it's like, why would you support two nations? Like I thought the whole point of supporting a nation is you would support the nation you were born in. Like why why would you want also support a second nation and that second nation being Israel? And what's that thing down in the corner there? Black and oh God, black and white unite. Yeah, that's I think that's something you would hear communists normally say, which again it really makes you think why civic nationalists like Tommy Robinson or Ricky Dooland or in this case Danny Roscoe it makes you wonder why they would bring up a, a message like that, or a, a message like that, you know, black and white unite. Something that you, you would hear communists normally say, but again, it really makes you think, doesn't it? Spreads. 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 Ah, that's fine. Why is that? Yeah. Also, guys, let me know as well in the chat. Uh, lock up your chickens. Uh, tell me, you, you know, I've fight for fuck's sake. It's just coincidence. Yeah, it, I'm sure it's a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> Did someone leave the door of the morgue open? Holy moly. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, what I'll do is I'll see maybe place it there. Yeah, you guys can still see that, right? Hold on, let me check on another screen of mine. Because I don't know if you guys also want to see the chat on that stream as well, because I see there's a lot of people like, oh, yeah, hello, Danny, hello, Tommy, you know, hey, Tommy, Tommy, you know, all of that stuff. So, uh, yeah, you guys can still see that, right? That's fine. Perfect. Let's continue on. <laughs> Why is the audio so bad with the stream? Oh, Tommy, Tommy, you're so good to see you. Yeah, of course. Three guys are from Hamas. Huh? Yeah, 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 can you? Can you get someone else in there? I forgot to pull it out. Father, just a quick question, guys. Just, just real quick. I kind of recognize this gentleman here. Is that supposed to be uh, Danny Tomo or whatever the guy's name is? Um, the NATO Defense Force. <laughs> 
Mr. Kipling, hello to you too, sir. Thank you for watching. Someone throw a penny on the floor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but I just just want to ask that question just real quick. Um, is that maybe uh, yeah this guy right here? Hold on, let me... Yeah, there we go. Is that maybe Danny Tom or, or some whatever the guy's name is? The guy who asked for like donations from his from his followers, but then he. It was it was maybe something for like a documentary or like some kind of project he was working on, but it actually never went anywhere to that. Instead, he just went he, he took that money and went to Paris or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know the full context of what happened in that story, but it was something to do with like they asked for donations and they, it, he took it from his fans and then just basically scoffed the whole amount of what he was given. Uh oh, to the V, <laughs> way to the V. <laughs> Yeah, cookie toe. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Not very tall, are they? They're leaders, I. <laughs> uh, stop noticing, Chief. <laughs> he went on the pit. <laughs> of course. Oh, dear. Mm. Uh, right, we'll just get back onto that just now. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is just. I won't pause the video. I'll just. I'll just mute it. But man, how fucking embarrassing is this? These are supposed to be the are the British nationalists, but they also want to support another country, like as like Israel of all places. Like what? Where's all that about? Even just to give the guys a bit of a backstory. Even when I was a Sith Knight myself. Even I kind of thought about that. It's like, well, wait a minute. I thought you were supposed to be British nationalists. Like, why are you also supporting Israel? But if you ever dare to question anything like that, then you just be looked at as an anti-Semitic or an anti-Semite or whatever the, the, the term they, they, they use or anything like that. It's just absolutely fucking embarrassing. Oh, whoops. There we go. <laughs> The British flag with also the Israeli flag. Jesus. Uh, well, was, uh, 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 Jesus. Uh, Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. see the chat as well some of it's just really cringy stuff here uh like where's that message i've just seen on this chat hold on uh where is that oh no i've seen it as well where is it it was something along the lines of i never thought i would see so many legends in oh here we go ever s seen so many legends in in, in the one place Ugh, okay and then hashtag I stand with Israel. That's uh, all right. The boys are back in town. What do you mean the boys and back are, are back in town? <laughs> Lovely to see Tommy and Danny Tomo there. The Babs and, and good Hans. Uh, the boys freezing the rain here. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, that's fine. Fuck, chat. Is there any reason why they're waiting or anything like that? <laughs> Uh, oh, I bought that stream, that's, that's no worries. 
Shinobi is here. Let's fight. Awesome. Thank you for watching the stream. Shinobi, uh, can we donate? No. <laughs> no. Uh, the Rape of Brad and the Invis Invisible Docky. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Uh, cheers for the for the great stream again. Going to Doc out to connect to the point of the stream. Take it easy, mate. You too, send some. You take care. Uh, uh, got to go. Thanks for the stream. I'll catch you watch the rest another time. Good luck. Thank you. For, thank the Lord. Thank you for watching the stream. Yeah. Typical. If that subtitles that this would be much better, but does many things to you, my friend. It does many things. Especially judging your sense of morality. Definitely with that. Stop the spread of Atheum. Free Gaza from Hamas to Jimmy the Hat. Okay. Well, if there is no place in society for anti-Semitism, the crazy lot will be trying their hardest to cause trouble, so many of can blame these non common sense people for Hamas and BLM and Antifa. Great to see Danny and Tom, Tommy. Over to see Tommy and Danny Tomo there. Okay. <laughs> I would go on forever, but you know that's just nothing was really happening there with that. So I'll just yeah yeah I'm just <laughs> and and put that to rest for for, for now. Uh, shame the hangers on uh, can't see the insane contradictions and in what they're clamoring about. And yeah, exactly, like I said, these sevnas have no any real consistency whatsoever. They're just complete hypocrites at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, it looks like everyone's leaving, moving over to Bonnie Lad's stream or Mark Collette's stream. And again, that's completely fine, because I think we've just got two minutes to go to the stream ends anyway. So what I will do is see if I can play us an outro song. Oh, I'm just going to play as well for song-wise. Oh, I got an idea. Uh, right, okay. Hopefully this might be all right for the outro song. I hope anyway, but... Okay, well, what we'll do, guys, oh, it warms up when the Palestinian crowd turn off. <laughs> what we'll do, guys, is uh, I will end the stream uh, here just now. Uh, so this was the first ever episode of the Mood of the Nation podcast. So 
I personally, I thought it was okay. Maybe it could have been a lot better, but hey, it's only the first episode. I'm sure it won't get better on. Uh, it won't get better later on uh, throughout the weeks and such. Uh, but ultimately speaking, that goes for you guys. What would you personally think of, of the podcast? At least the first episode, at least. Uh, maybe any feedbacks or anything like that at all. Again, that would be very beneficial again with that. So, uh, I was there. Oh, <laughs> enjoy the stream, mate. As always, Moody, thank you very much, Scott Summer. Cheers, Chief. Thank you very much, Charles Bort. Uh, great stream. Uh, thank you very much, Jordan Fox. And Alan Alcott. Alcott. Uh, I was there. All right, that's fair enough. Cool. Great work, Chief. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, right, perfect. So what you all can do is you can either go on to or watch a Bonnie Lad stream or even check out Mark Collette's channel or anything like that at all. Uh, and in that way, I'll just end the stream here with the outro song. So... Uh, more episodes will be coming uh, the following weeks uh, later Chief, later chat great stream, thank you very much Walt, that's really great uh, for your feedback cheers Chief, good stream, thank you very much Budget Burger, really appreciate that uh, so share that and then I'll play the outro again, so again I really want to thank you all so much for your time uh, this is Chief Moody signing out and I will see you all next time, take care thank you very much, goodbye